Squawk Box CEOs and policymakers are gathering this morning in Washington at the annual National Competitiveness Forum to focus on jobs, manufacturing, and the U.S. economy. Joining us right now is Senator Jerry Moran of uh, Kansas, a co-chair of the Senate Competitiveness Caucus, formed in partnership with the U.S. Council on Competitiveness, the host of today's forum. Good morning. Good morning. Um, well, I'll just throw it out there. What, what are you planning to tell these folks today? Well, I think the topic obviously is competitiveness, and we all, most of us grew up in America wanting to be competitive, but the reason that we need to be competitive today, uh, we need to be competitive in our economy, is right. because the word jobs, uh, and what competitiveness is about is keeping jobs in the United States, uh, growing the number of jobs that are available to Americans, getting better jobs for Americans, more job security, higher paying jobs, right. and creating an opportunity for us to live the American dream. So competitiveness sounds like something we all are for, but the reason we're for it is we're pursuing the American dream for the American people. Senator, let me ask you a question about tax reform uh, under a Trump administration and a uh, House and Senate controlled, controlled by the Republicans. Uh, one of the things that uh, people are talking about not only is lowering the rate to make our, our companies more competitive, but about repatriating capital uh, to the United States. Uh, that has long been seen as an opportunity potentially to create more jobs uh, in this country. Um, but one of the questions we've asked over the past couple of days of CEOs who've joined us is we've said, if you could repatriate all this cash, what would you do with it? Uh, we talked to the CEO of Stryker this morning, the CEO of Cisco uh, two days ago. Most of them do not talk about uh, hiring more people, uh, creating R&D centers, things like that. They talk about uh, buybacks, dividends, and, and perhaps some mergers and acquisitions. How do you think about that then? Well, I mean, you have to take the, the longer view, which is that if our companies uh, are in the right form, the format, that's the right structure, uh, it means that they can better compete in a global economy and therefore create new jobs. And so my my view is that uh, that job creation follows. But of course, I mean, what you really do want to see is in the investment by businesses in increasing uh, their technology, their hiring uh, to invest in this country. Right. And uh, I think that's the, the the, the goal here. You wouldn't just uh, pad the ranks, add, you know, add four or five hundred people everywhere and just, just, just hire them and hope something comes around where they got no, something you, to do? Or, you, you, or, know, you know, we can't do that. The, the business has not? to get itself in. Well, you I just can't. mandate we, that you do that. Well, would, you, you hire, you don't bring it back. Hire five, six, eight, maybe a thousand people. We, uh, and we then hope there's some demand or else you're going to have to fire them like next month. Yeah, this is not a short term issue. This is a long term issue. If you're, if you're absent a job, you want it today, and we want to help people accomplish that. But nice in the to, long term, this country's nice economy has demand, to accommodate though. those, those uh, jobs. Nice to work on the demand. Senator, Let's Senator, work on the demand. Realistically, what do you think the, uh, the corporate tax rate's going to be? Uh, Donald Trump has proposed 15 percent. Uh, others have suggested we're closer to 20, 25 percent. Where do you think the number really lands? You know, I don't know what that number's going to be, but your, your point about uh, a Republican in the White House, a, a Republican control of the House and Senate, I, I would correct your words. We have a majority of Republicans in the Senate. That's difficult to say that's control. So it will be a legislative process and negotiations. But I do think that tax, so-called tax reform, uh, modification of the rates, uh, elimination of some of the complications is certainly front and center. And I hope that repatriation is not just a one-shot thing, that it's a component right. of tax reform so that this isn't just bring the money home at the moment and still have a tax code that discourages that from happening in the future. Senator, how, how quickly do you think in 2017 we can get this legislation passed? Well, I predicted tax reform uh, for, uh, as one of the things that a, a, a different Congress in the past would be able to accomplish. I was wrong. Senator, uh, it hasn't happened to date. I but, have to uh, break in. I apologize. Slower.